Good morning, guys. It's Joanne. Happy Mail Stamper here. Um, how, I, how is everybody this morning? Um, I just wanted to come on real quick and uh, say a couple things. Um, this is uh, about Stampin' Up. I just got my second recruit the other day, which I'm very excited about. And there's a lot of um, really cool things coming up with um, Stampin' Up. The Celebration Catalog is coming out. Um, that's where you, you buy a certain amount of product and then you, you get product free. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then there's the all occasions catalog that's coming out as well. So I want you guys to stay tuned for further information on that. I don't have the catalogs yet. They are, um, on the demonstrator website. But oh, I should probably. So I figure while I talk to you, I'll just do a little bit of stamping and coloring. I'm going to use the um, polymer stamp set Country Home. Okay, this one's really cool. Um, I haven't used this one yet, so I figured let's give it a shot. This one has a lot of coloring involved, and I'm not so good on the coloring, so let's see how we do. And I don't have a lot of colors in when it comes to my markers. So I'm just going to stamp the milk crate with the basic gray stampin' pad. Oh, and I do have, I probably have some bad news. All right, so we're gonna stamp it right here and see how that comes out. Okay, came out pretty good. Probably could have been a little bit darker, but I'm gonna color this, so I'm not too worried. And then, I'm gonna get my, my baby wipe to wipe off my stamp. So last night I came in and I had put a, oh, that's the wrong one. I put a real quick um, stamp on something and I used, for that one I just used this old Hamilton Art black um, ink pad that I had. And then I came in this morning and I never closed it. So it was open all night. So I don't even know if this is going to work anymore, but I guess we can try it. But I'll try that later. Okay, so I stamped at the milk crate. So we're, we did that with the basic gray. Okay. Always remember to close these up as soon as you're done using them. And then I'm going to stamp the flowers with the gray granite, just because it's lighter. Now let's see if we can get these flowers to look okay on top of this milk crate. This is like double stamping here, guys. Okay, so yeah, Stampin' Up! has a lot of cool things coming up. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and ring the bell so that you can uh, see what I have um, in the future. I am going to be doing a giveaway during the celebrations uh, of a paper pumpkin box that I have unopened. So that's in no way sponsored by Stampin' Up! or anything that Stampin' Up! is doing. That's just something that I'm going to be doing for every $50 order during that time through my website. I will enter you into a drawing for the paper pumpkin box. And if only one person orders, well then, hey, easy peasy, that one person wins. So, I mean, it gives you guys some time to go around, check out my website, which is linked below. See if there's any products that you really like, that you want. But remember, the new um, catalogs are coming out soon, too. So you might want to wait till you can check those out. All right, so that stamped pretty good, I would say. It's not really much lighter. It's just a different shade of gray. So let's see how we do coloring, guys. I'm not so good. Um, I don't have a gray, so that's awesome. thought I did. So maybe we'll just start with the flowers. I don't even have any like light to darks. Like, is this a light and dark? All the Stampin' Blends come light and dark. So this one here, all right, so this is the dark Cajun craze and this is the light Cajun craze. You can buy them um, in a set together or you can buy them individually. And I don't think, maybe this is a set too, light, Blackberry Bliss and Dark Blackberry Bliss. And some of the shades don't look too much different. Let me see, did I get another one? Let's maybe these two are light and dark too. This is Light Pumpkin Pie, Dark Petal Pink. Nope, they don't match. Let's try these two. 
dark soft suede and light soft suede. All right, so I got a couple sets here that that are good. What's this one? Dark pumpkin pie. And we had a pumpkin pie here, light pumpkin pie. Oh, and then, oh, look at this. Maybe I do have darks and lights. Maybe what I need is more individual colors. Okay, so then we have the light pink petal and the dark pink petal. And then I just have the two random, random colors. Dark pool party and light daffodil delight. So I think, <clears throat> and then this green, which is the dark granny apple green. I should really get the light granny apple green because I like the green and I use it a lot. So for now, I'm just keeping all my markers in this nice little tin that I decoupaged with a napkin. Isn't that cool? I think it was an old vegetable can or something, but that was fun to do. So in the meantime, I'm not going to keep this video long because I have to get ready for work. Um, but in the meantime, I do have a swap going on on my Instagram channel. Uh, that's Happy Mail Swam Ugh, Happy Mail Stamper there as well. Um, th those signups end on the 19th so that I can assign partners and everyone can get their stuff out in time for Christmas. It's a 12 day of Christmas swap. So there's 15 items listed and you send 12 of those at once to your partner. And if all goes well, we each have a little gift to open for the 12 days before Christmas. Or if you just choose to open them all at once or save them all for Christmas, however, however you want to do it. All right, so that's the green there. Um, I'm going to be working on that swap this weekend, so I'm probably not going to be doing too much stamping up stuff. But I say that and then, you know, I wind up doing it anyway. Now I got these little blossoms here. I guess this is, um, what is that, cotton? Like the little cotton cotton puffs? So I'm going to color those in the light petal pink. Or maybe, oh here, maybe what we can do. I've seen um, a lot of girls do this. We'll use the dark first. So always do your dark first just to give it a little bit of uh, dimension there or make it a little more interesting so yeah that's about it it's um, Wednesday morning I have something exciting going on Friday but I can't say anything about it yet for just reasons I don't know who watches my videos and and that but hopefully um, it's exciting news and I can let you guys all in on it soon um, yeah so that's Friday and today is Wednesday, so probably tonight and then tomorrow. Tonight and tomorrow, definitely, I'm just going to be hitting the books. I did it last night. I was really enjoying it. I stopped at about 8 o'clock, but I probably could have gone on reading and listening to the lectures for another hour or two. But my eyes were getting tired and, and that. I also signed up already to take my coding test, which... Um, I don't know if it was the best thing to do, being that I'm not even halfway through the course, but I figured the um, course that I'm taking, I have unlimited exam, exam attempts um, in the package that I picked. So they have one coming up the middle of December, and then they have another one that is not until March. So I really didn't want to wait till March and I'm pretty confident that I'm not going to pass the test in December, but the way I see it on the off chance that I do pass it, well, that's just amazing. And if, you know, I have another, I, then I can take it again in March and I'll know what to expect. That's what I'm trying to say. At least I'll know what the test is like. It's a five hour and 40 minute test. And also the one in December is local. To me and the one in um, March is about 45 minutes away or so so I don't know if any more will be put up on the on the AAPC site in between now and then but I figure at least I got myself in there and we'll see how it goes all right um, I need something lighter that wasn't light so we're gonna take this so we're just going to finish coloring this real quick and then we're probably going to go. Um, 
I do need to order some more markers. Definitely, I would love to be able to order the whole set, but you know, baby steps here, guys. I have a ton of other markers, but I just want to get used to using these and some of the projects. I don't want to intermingle the, you know, anything else. Ooh, anything else with the Stampin' Up. So I don't know what color. I'm thinking maybe this blue for the tin. I don't know. Well, this, we don't even know if we're going to use this piece, so why not, right? We'll just do a quick little test. So I'm going to try and color that a little bit darker with the fine point part of the marker. And I changed the camera angle on this video because the last one I did, it was sideways when I uploaded it. So I just changed the position of the... I record everything with my phone. So I just changed the position of my phone, and I'm hoping that this one comes out the way it's supposed to. I mean, maybe on some of your, um, when some of you watched it, it was the way it was supposed to be. But, um, I don't know, I wasn't too happy about it. But I am happy about my new camera angle, although I did bump my head on it this morning because it sticks out from the, from the pegboard. And I, I don't know, maybe I should take it down when I'm not using it. So, all right. And then we're going to use the, um, this is called, what tip is this? I don't know what this tip is called. It's more of like a painting, like a paint brush tip, maybe we call it that. So you have the fine point and then you have the brush point. So I actually think this is pretty cute and I'm probably going to use it on a card. Um, so when I get a new... Um, you know, a new customer or a new recruit through Stampin' Up, um, I'm going to be sending them a card. But now I'm wondering if maybe instead of a card, I just send them like a nice card base. You know, just do up a base and send that, and then they can put it on whatever card they want. I don't know. All right, guys, so let's take a look. You can see it. I think it came out pretty good for my first time really... Um, trying to color with the markers. I've used the um, watercolor pencils uh, before and they're really cool. I like them. Uh, but I think they only have one set of colors for those. So I'm hoping that they'll come out with, with more of the pencils. All right, so I'm gonna go. Um, you guys have a great day. Again, um, any order of $25 through my website, which is happymailstamper.stampinup.net. Um, I'll send you a free card and that'll be a full card. That won't just be a card base like I just talked about because that probably won't even happen. I think they should just be cards. So um, with any $25 purchase, I will send a free thank you card um, that you can use. It won't be, you know, addressed or anything. It'll just be a blank card that you can um, send off or save or, you know, however you want to do it. Um, when I signed up, Deb Huck sent me a card and I have it displayed or at least I did but my daughter was over the other day and she was looking through everything she seems a little like she might be interested in maybe doing so I might get her a paper pumpkin give her a paper pumpkin box to uh to try she's in college in a dorm so she doesn't really have all the all the supplies but I'm thinking it might be something nice to take her mind off of uh school for a little while and that so all right guys uh remember stay in touch um I just wanted to come up and do a quick video let you guys know what was going on and to show off this beautiful country home stamp set. And there's so much, we, like I use the milk crate, but they have the old pitcher. Um, they have the, what's that called? I forget what it's called. Cause I have the, I have the embossing. Where is it? Hang on guys, bear with me. Um, okay, tin tile, that's what it is, tin tile. I haven't used this embossing pad yet, um, but I am gonna use that soon. But I could probably incorporate it all um, with this, this set here. All right. So have a great day. Um, subscribe, like, tell all your friends about me. All right. Everything you need to know will be listed in the description below. Um, I'll list the product numbers for the different inks that I used and the, for the stamp pad and maybe even for the tin tile, even though you haven't seen it, seen it work yet. I'll do a video on that shortly. Not today shortly because I got to go to work. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.